Good morning. We were kind of stuck in the rig almost all day yesterday because it rained. Yeah, it really does rain in Moab. We are going to go try and find some fossils this morning by the potash mine. Um, you kind of have to be careful rock hunting here because there's uranium, uranium all over the place. But this is supposed to be a really nice drive along the Colorado River. I'll turn you around so you can see it. Very pretty. There's also a road that runs along the other side, and that is Cane Creek Road. That one's a little more sketchy. It's got sketchy stuff on it. We've never been on this one. We didn't realize we could come back here because there's like a railroad track, and we thought it went to that outfit up top. So this will be this will be all kind of new. It's a little chillier today in that it is about. I think it's in the high 50s now, and the high is going to be 63 at 4 o'clock, so it's a good day to go out rock hunting. That way, our pals that go with us aren't going to get cooked in the, in the Jeep. So, come along with us, guys. Another thing we can see on this road, at some point, from what I understand, are petroglyphs and dinosaur footprints. So, Max, we're going to see if we can find the dinosaur footprints for you, buddy. Here's some petroglyphs already. You can see, uh, I think they were trying to draw a goat there. They draw like I did, like I do. There's a ladder right there. It's pretty cool. On this side too, but they're real faint. You look on that dark rock there's a bunch on there too and then all the way across up here they've got like lines of people and then you got all this and holy cow there's a whole big part up there very cool here's some information and here, we're going to go see if we can find the dinosaur tracks for our Max. Here we go, we're going to go find us some dinosaur tracks. We're going this way. This way, not that way, but this way. Not taking the boys because because of this this evil stuff <laughs> and other evil things. These are those dinosaur tracks. I like the moose tracks ice cream better. Three toes. We are in, I believe, Canyon Lands. Canyon National Park. I think. At least we saw a sign back there saying we should have our entry pass and stuff. Ooh, look it. Oh, look it. Hold on. We're going to come around a really cool corner. We're just out exploring, so we really have no idea where we are specifically, but these are the salt collection ponds. 
we're not quite sure how it's going to work or how it works. So we'll find out for you. That beautiful view in the distance. Snow in the mountains. Where's that salt in the mountain? More pretty stuff. Look at the layers over on that one. That's a dry creek bed. It says that this is a an area known for sheep and we haven't seen a one, although we have seen some tracks. Now we're officially entering. What? Entering. Entering. Well, entering the park. It says no dogs. No anything. Yeah, no nothing. Except for. Well, we're just passing through because we want to get out. So hopefully they don't get us in trouble. It's very party in here. We're crossing our fingers, we're not on the White Rim Trail. We can use a special permit for that, apparently, which I thought we had, but maybe we don't. We're just looking for 313 so we can get the heck out of here. <laughs> then we'll take the road, the road, the actual road back to Moab. We gotta go pick up our RV tire. road any wider. going to be climbing these switchbacks here. I don't know, there's a glare in the windshield, sorry. There we go. To get up. And you can see the road where we just were, way down there. And we still got to go way up there. And we still got to go way up there. And see the dust flying. <laughs> Switchbacks are tight. You don't want to do this in a dually. Ooh. See the people way up there? <laughs> yeah, it's just FYI. We No, I can't see down there.
And that is that. We had a long, hard day, um, but it was so much fun. So our RV tire had to be replaced because we developed a flat spot on the front axle passenger side. And there was a couple of chunks out of it. So to be on the safe side, we put a new one on. That was not salt out there that they were harvesting and developing. That is potash, so that's actually a fertilizer. Who knew? If you ever get a chance to go to Canyonlands, I highly recommend that you go there if you can. Now, that's only one um, area that we drove. There's like an area up to four hours away, so this is a huge park. So make sure that you... Um, do your research beforehand so you don't miss any of it. We're obviously going to because I'm not going to drive four hours to to go to one part of it. Tomorrow we're thinking of doing um, Poison Spider as a Jeep trail. Either that or maybe Hell's Revenge. We'll see. Hope you all are having a great day. I'm worried with why we still can. Get out there and do it while you still can.